Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. How are you? Greetings. Welcome. Uh, I spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours leveling a character, and then it fucking died permanently. Cool. Hi, everybody. Anyway, it's me, Octo. I want to play more Judgment because it's a fun video game. Not like the one where when you die, you die instantly and forever. Uh, I don't remember what I was doing. What was the last thing I was doing? <clears throat> uh, oh, I need to find this guy. Uh, I'm, I apologize. If I sound a little hoarse, it's because it, I'm a pony. No. Uh, if I sound a little hoarse, it's because after I died, I screamed so loud, I feel like I tore my vocal cords. So I'm I'm getting back to it. I need to murder. No, I am. <clears throat> the thing is. <clears throat> I really like- oh my god, wow, I didn't realize how- how loud I screamed. Um... The thing is, I really like playing with my friends, but... You know, one wrong move, and you're fucking dead. Is this it? Oh, this is the potions guy, that's right. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but neither of our documents seem to match anything on record. Never find never mind the words. The letters themselves are a puzzle. Mm. I figured as much. Mm -hmm. Hey, who's this, Yamasan? Uh. Oh, he's the owner of an ancient codex I was telling you about, but I didn't know it was acquired with the college acquainted with the college professor. Gotcha. So he's the one who's been helping you with your research. I'm Tatsuomi Yoshikawa. The Enoshima College of Cultural Studies. I specialize in ethnology and folklore. Yagamis. I'm Takuya, uh, Takayuki Yagami, a detective. Can you explain what the codex is? Simply put, it's an ancient manuscript with great historical significance. This one's been in my family for generations. Long ago, one of my ancestors helped resuscitate an injured mountain dweller that was given the codex as thanks. But since the codex is written in an unknown language, none of us has ever understood its contents. Yamasan may be able to change that. Ah, cool, great. Okay, so we gotta figure yeah. out what's in it. You think it was written by aliens? Oh man. Uh, I've actually got the materials. Hmm. Oh, uh, creating extracts found in the codex. Select okay, it. so we got to translate the codex. Hmm. Some of these things can get around here, but I can think of some substitutes. Yeah, they sort of established that when we hmm. first met this guy. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Deliver the roses to Iyama. Oh, we need to get roses, I guess. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine, everything's fine, I'm not mad. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. What is this? Oh, this is Mahjong, maybe? I think that might be Mahjong. Uh... Is there a task involved in this?
I don't remember if there was something I was supposed to do. Is there a side mission? That's drone racing. I supposed to go? Do I go back to the boxing gym, maybe? <sighs> anyway, what's up, everybody? How are you? How's it going? People don't seem to be talking very much, so I guess... Just try and make some conversation. Make the best out of it, you know? Can I fight anybody new here? Oh, I have that. How do you get new opponents, is my question. Well, I want to see if I can fight this guy. I want to see if I can fight this guy by doing that trick that I was doing earlier. I probably can. Yeah, this totally works. Uh, are we getting that awesome, awesome auto plush? Hopefully, yes, I'd like to, but, um, I'd like to, but, uh, I need to hear back from the company. Are they gonna get up? Yeah, they are. That's fine. Yeah, this is like if you. I, I I don't know if this works on every opponent, but. It feels like it does. This literally feels like it fucking it works on every opponent. I need to know what the next part of this quest is. Okay. That's Mystery Research Club. Uh. Da -da -da -da. Despite skipping the gym for months now, Miku Motors Black says I've been worse than one bit. He's mentioned he's training honest to god fights. Wonder what he meant by that. Okay, so Mikimoto was the guy that came in, and I think. Yeah, he was the dude who came in and was like working for the um the loan collection agency, I think. What arcade games are in this one? Virtual Fighter 5, Sonic the Fighters. Uh, you know. A couple different ones. Space Harrier, I think, is in this one. You can get some, like, cartridges. 
Uh, sweet heaven. You can get some cartridges that sort of um, give you other Sega games. My voice sounds a little strained. Uh, I, after my hardcore character died, I screamed so loud it felt like I tore my vocal cords. Because I was so fucking frustrated. Because this is the fourth hardcore character that's died that I've had. Yeah. And let me tell you, losing a character that you spent hours on to have permadeath is not fun. In Diablo 2. I was I was not happy about that one. Especially cuz the build was going really well. I really uh I really want to uh, um oh my god, I didn't realize how bad I fucked up my voice. I really want to keep playing D2 um but I also don't I'm all, I also just felt like I needed a break maybe. Who am I up against? Ooh. Me, get ready. Yep, I'm starting it off. Alright, what did he get? I just gotta fucking beat his score. Hmm. 2500. That's like fucking baby stupid easy mode. Oops. I think I fucked up that trick. Damn, I'm fucking destroying this guy's score. This uh this mini game is pretty easy. This is a this is a pretty simple one. How much progress did we lose? Oh, what are you what are you ta talking about with Diablo? Hours, hours and hours and hours and hours. I lost probably like 10 hours worth of progress. <sighs> Oh, someone else crew draws that. Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, right. My bad. I forgot you can't draw for shit anymore. Damn. Damn. You really did see the downfall of Teta Chioda Artistic Genius. Man, it's fucking rude, dude. It's because you lost the skateboard competition? No. Nah. You said something like that last time. What's this whole thing about you being an artistic genius? It's all in the past. If you want to know, I started drawing in middle school because my art club teacher talked me into it. I had an act for it. Then I started improving pretty quickly and managed to win awards <sighs> Uh, I saw people start calling me a genius in the newspaper. Have you ever considered pursuing that path as a career? And yeah, there were times when I thought I'd be an artist when I grew up, but that's not going to happen mm -hmm. for me anymore. Why not? Six months ago, I had surgery from a condition in my hand, and on my hands all messed up. It doesn't affect my everyday life, but I can't draw delicate lines anymore, which I need for my art. You've never known. <laughs> Anyways, that's all in the past. Let's focus on having fun and skating, baby! Anything else to do here? Uh, exchange points. Oh, nice! You can buy new. Uh, you can buy new skateboards. 
what can I get here? Ooh, a textbook on breakdancing. Yeah, sure. What is this? Skateboarding Rocketeer. Oh yeah, wasn't there a new club I needed to go to also? Ooh, get some air. Okay, this is all easy shit. Whoops, that's not much. Okay, I think if you get the boost just before you hit the ramp, that's when you get, like, the really big air. So you have to get the boost. I think you have to get the boost like just before you go on there, like about here. There we go. Yeah, that's how you get the big points. All right, I get it now. Oops. Is this a school club? No, this is decidedly not a school club. So, I see how they want me to do it now. Yeah, if you get the little boost, just put the shit. Yeah, you can get that little boost before you go, and I think it gives you more air and more time to press the button. QTE right when you get to the ramp? You want to hit the red, or is that... Uh, don't you want to hit the red on? Wait, is there a mark? I thought you're just supposed to hit the circle as soon as the, the QTE comes up. That was my guess. There's a yellow and a red zone? There is? I didn't notice that. Oh, maybe I'm missing a QTE. Hold on, I didn't even know that. I thought it was just like, oh, you just fucking... Okay, well, let's try it. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Boop. Okay, hold on. Let me try this again. Is that it? I think I'm doing it. Oh, shit. There we go. Aha! <laughs> Whoops. Man, that's a lot of score. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Radical rail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try all that gaming has given you incredible deductive powers. It's the race. Yeah, damn you. Uh, accelerate and press circle to avoid obstacles. All while earning items along the way. You find different items and boxes. Three types you can obtain. Gravel can throw you behind you. Fire crackers you can throw ahead. Energy can temporarily increase your speed. Press triangle to use it. Pulling off rail tricks, jumping. Over. So it's Mario Kart. <laughs> it's Mario Kart, but on a skateboard. Okay. Oops. Oh, you gotta time. You gotta do it at the right time. There we go. Ways to make Yagami cool in ways Kiryu never would be. Well, they kind of also did that with um. They kind of did that with Ichiban too. Is the face of a real person. That's true. Yeah. That's always the weird thing, right? Because, like, his his facial model is based on, like, a real-ass person. Did I unlock a new race? Hold on. I did. That's why I'm not a huge fan of putting, like, real people in games like if you want real people to be you know the mocap actors or w whatever have you that's fine but you know if it's like oh this is you know you know if, if you're starting to like make the people like actually look like characters or the characters actually look like people you know that opens a whole different can of worms that can end up being a problem. Right. 
That one, that one seems really good. At the time, it ends up being a problem. Yeah, for sure. I mean, isn't that part of the reason why the game's not coming to PC? That's what I heard. Um, then there's, there's always, then there's the, oh, uh, whoa. There's the, uh, what do you call it? There's, so, like, in Mass Effect, they did it too, right? But Mass Effect is kind of different because, uh, the people whose faces were the basis for the characters didn't voice the character, right? It's completely different. So that's a little different. It makes a mismatch of voice and visual. Yeah, like I remember um, seeing the person who they based Samara on, right? Like she, it's it's some actress slash model that they they based Samara on, but um, her voice is totally different because she's voiced by Billie Eilish's mom, which still is so weird to me. Yeah, Samara in Mass Effect is voiced by Billie Eilish's mom. Martin Sheen was the face model for Elusive Man. I could kind of see that. I could, I could kind of see that. Not like, yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah, Ah, oh my god. Alright, go Yagami. Whoa. I think it's faux pas to run in a skateboard race, but sure, whatever. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, come on, second place! That sucks. Um, no, one of the people in Yakuza got replaced, I believe. I think. Uh, or was it Judgment? Was it Judgment or was it Yakuza? I don't know, actually. Oh my god, come on.
You have to keep the momentum up. Face model for Hama, PH Haki got busted for cocaine and they held the production of Judgment and remodeled his face and replaced his VA. Wow! I didn't know that. That's crazy. Huh. Which game series do you think has the most fun city, like with side stuff and activities? Um, I think Zero probably is the best. I really, really, really like Zero a lot. Um, that was also my first one, so, you know, I could be biased there. I think that gives you a chance for an excellent there or whatever. Shakedown is really fun roaming super boss. I kind of wish they brought him back. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. There's just so much stuff to do in that game, you know? It's kind of insane. Ugh, is it is it bad that I wanna that I wanna catch up and play Diablo 2 again? Oh shit, okay, that's not good. Not that this game is bad, it's not. It's just, you know. When you kinda get fucked, you wanna, you know, you wanna play catch up again. up my jump button. Okay, we're good. 
just burned out that your character died? Yeah, I'm just... It's just annoying. done all the races. Hang time. Uh, what can I get for points? Ooh. Purple drop. Cute, fun little racing minigame. They always, they love to have racing minigames in these games, you know? new races but this is nice because now i can buy new uh Come on. i want to buy this new fancy skateboard it's stir crazy flash skateboard with purple base modified for improved acceleration turning and maximum speed so this one basically has like everything Mod a skateboard for maximum speed. I'll never know, but like... That sounds like, uh, what is his name? Darby. Gerd! Kind of unfair. <laughs> I mean, I did, I think, buy the best skateboard already, but... What I hate about that situation is basically started copying Burnout Mechanics with the NFS. Oh, yeah, I never really played Burnout. That's one thing that I have to understand is that, uh, throwing an item animation locks you.
Damn, that's pretty good. Give me extra points when I do that. I think it does. There we go. Perfect. Get enough for you. Bow, bow, bow. Devil's Way. Ooh. Spooky. One more kitty go there. Well, I mean, anything called Devil's Way, you know. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh. Okay, I need to use that to catch up. Whoa. Oh shit, oh no, that's bad. You know, this uh, this song almost sounds like a Bayonetta song. Just that one, like, little sample there. Not the bass line, though. More? Ah, uh, now back to good. Man, there are a lot of people watching this amateur skateboard race. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're almost done. Oh, shit. Okay, come on. 
Oof, man, this is rough. Alright, come on. The energy drink is nice, because it actually lets you plow through obstacles. Fuck, man, you really gotta turn. If you miss those turns, you actually get knocked off your board. Got knocked off my board. Oh my god, this is tough. Ooh, yeah, this uh, this map is actually hard. The previous ones were kind of jokes, but this one's actually kind of tough. So why are there all these garbage? Is that wait? I think that might be the guy from the other. Uh, that might be the guy from the other the crew or whatever you have, whatever you call it. Well, the fact that he has a skateboard in his back pocket, you don't? Where else would you keep it? What was that? Oh shit! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! No! Oh my god! Right at the end, come on. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> no, we're fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Yagami Pro Skater. Oh my god, he did it. He's gaming! Uh, hold on. How much do I have? 90,000? I can buy a bunch of stuff. Let's check my items. What does this do? Story about a cheerful skateboarder. Might figure out a s new skill if I read this. Oops. All that. I guess the skate tournaments are story locked. Well, the weird one to me is I can't figure out where to go next for the boxing ring. I also it might be that I just don't remember. <laughs>
Perfect! Ooh, I pressed the wrong button. Nice, that was pretty good. Sometimes you need to level up one of your leadership skills to progress. I think in order to advance the... Um... The dance club? I need a peel. That's what it was. Yeah, I needed a peel. One of them was locked behind uh, my fucking social link stats or whatever. Yep, see, I just unlocked that. Uh, main switch for progress. Okay. All right, so now I'm Tony Hawk's pro skater. Roses are red, violets are blue. Tony Hawk's pro skater too. In Judgment? Yeah, but to be fair, that one sequence in Judgment where you skateboard is fucking cool. Alright, let's go talk to Amasawa. I think it's Amasawa? Uh, I didn't know you were going to be here too, Kenta Kun. You got me some. Please take a seat. Amasa. So you got some information on Nishikiri? Eh. Yeah, and unfortunately, rather unpleasant. You got me some. Do you know what Genbukai is? I have no idea what that is. Mm -hmm. It's a mixed martial arts competition. The city's most felonious citizens tend to enter. Sorry. Oh, it's MMA. Okay. Here, they don't take a lot of safety precautions, like weigh-ins or proper medical Jitsua. stuff. Oh, Shikiri Kun is a former participant. Oh, eh. fuck. Yeah, it's DBZ Genbukai. Hi. Punks who messed with Shikiri the other day mentioned a Genji guy. Who Kenya's been fighting. It is, it, the event itself isn't illegal and neither is signing up for it. However, word is getting around the event organizers are very shady. They okay, Hanyang. Yeah, I figured. Don't just put that on Kenya without evidence. Maybe he didn't know what kind of people were running the event. You have a point there. Besides, it seems that Shikiri Kun no longer participates in the Genbukai. I heard his gym owner caught wind of it and is giving him good scolding. Interesting. We gotta pursue this Genbukai business. That's what I needed to advance the thing. As it turns out it's that. Oh wait, what was, uh, there was something. Should I go do more dance or... I may as well, as long as I'm here. Decades ago, owners didn't go as bonkers about their music. Well, the thing is that we were using it for a video game and probably a lot of the rights holders didn't really understand. They were like, oh, it's some stupid project, right? That they're, it's some like experimental project and they didn't realize how many people were buying video games. I mean, that's my guess. Wasn't this their old advisor? That's him. I know. Hey, Komakato sensei, right? <gasps> you got me, son! So, you are back because you changed your minds. Plan to start helping your butt out again? I thought maybe, but I still don't think I have it in me. Uh, just the thought of them dancing. Oh my god, it's already churning. Why? You okay? I forget, why doesn't he like dancing again? Oh, cause uh, 
wasn't his like ex girlfriend a dancer or something? And so seeing them dance reminds him of his ex girl, like makes makes him anxious. I don't have the stomach for it anymore. An energy drink. Uh, Bye now. Who boy? Hey there, so Dance Jam Prelims coming Hi. up? Yeah, this will be huge for the rabbits. We're gonna go up against the strongest competition we faced. That's Nori Zuki's kun, right? Eventually, yeah, but they're a seed school. They get to advance straight to the finals. That's why we can't lose in the prelims. Good to see you running the show with such confidence. Set up my own advising game. Uh, that didn't really do much for me. I think there's some new a new song probably, yeah. EX solo breaking. Keeping it real, baby. Let's go. I want that shirt. It's like all offbeat stuff. That one's really hard. That one's hard because it's like literally all offbeat stuff. Mm. Man, this new song's tempo is nuts. I think I'm too exhausted to dance anymore. Well, I need to go through a bunch more times before I'm even close to memorizing it. Sounds like the rabbits are struggling a bit. Hi. We are. The new song is really hard. I think the first years are having an especially tough time. Does that mean Yudi's going to end up winning Dance Jam? Yudi A. I think we're going to be Yudi A. What? No. No way is that happening. <laughs> right? I'm counting on you. Don't go losing her, okay? Hidagi Senpai, thank you so much. We'll make you proud. Can I get some cow jams in chat? This is so hard. You okay? You don't have the moves down yet. I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble keeping it all straight. I can understand that. You haven't been dancing as long as some of the others. I'm sorry. Bam, 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 bam. Captain, let's huddle up after this. You got me, son. Could you join too? Sayaka's. It's about Katashina-san. I think her routine might be, on her. might be beyond her. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. She's kind of clumsy to begin with, and she gets really nervous. If she messes up during finals, we'd be a laughing stock. I've been thinking, should we try a new formation without her? What? I mean, you can't afford to lose this most of all, Sayaka. You know, the thing? But we've all been trying so hard. At any rate, this is the captain's call. Nishizona, what do you want to do? Yes. Oh, fuck. Is she going to kick her off the team?
今日はどの曲にしましょうさあ行こうか Man, that's tricky. Uh, so I think there's one more I gotta do? Hey, what's up, man? Malay, how's it going? Oh, no. Yagami-san, and Maria, and Micah, I wanna talk to you guys about Katashina-san. Did you make up your mind? Yeah, when it comes to lining for Dance Jam's prelims, we're not changing the formation one bit, even if it means we lose. What? Maria. But, Maria, the rabbit's motto is dance like nobody's watching. Uh, winning may be important, but what's even more important is we enjoy our time dancing while we can. If we pull Katashina, oh, they have the same theme of sad on, around you. Sayaka, but would you really be okay with losing? What about Hiragi Senpai? I won't like it, that's for sure. But I can't turn my back on one of our fellow rabbits. That's just not what a captain does. You're right. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I got caught up in your situation. It's okay, Maria. You help me remember what matters. Nina. Right? That's it for the announcements, everyone. More important to enjoy the dance than it is to win. That doesn't sound like the kind of girl who tried to get her competition kneecapped. Or could it? どの曲にしましょう。よし、やるか。よし。
I always end with 11 combo. I don't know why. Yeah, every time you get better at the, the, the song, more of the girls join in. I think I've got it. Yeah, it was like impossible, but now it's all so simple. Wow, I think we finally nailed the whole thing. Looks like we're ready for the meat. No time to spare. Oh, Hiragi Senpai. You look busy Hi. as always. Well, Dance Jam prelims are almost oh. here. Oh, right. That's really soon, isn't it? Uh, in that case, maybe I'll wait till that's over. What? Why? Well, there's something I need to tell you, but I shouldn't take your mind off of me. <laughs> Can't have us both being nervous. What? Wait a minute. Shut up. Were you going to ask her out just now? Huh? Oh, I really didn't want to make a scene out of this. Anyway, hit me up after the prelims, all right? Hiragi-senpai and the captain would make such a cute couple. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it'll actually happen one day. Oh boy, what do I do? Great. I wish the kid hadn't run his mouth like that right before the prelims. Couldn't he have waited until Nishizono wasn't so pressured? Igami-san, we should head out soon. Whenever you're ready. All right, who's ready for the dance contest? Somebody's getting fucked up. For real, though. Oh! That reminds me. Hey, uh, I, I promised... um. Hold on. I promised my good buddy Joe Zizia. Um, so for those that don't know, um, uh, Joe Zizia, who I played D&D with, you might know him, he's Claude in Fire Emblem. He's doing a Kickstarter. Uh, you can check it out here. Uh, he's really close to, like, he's, I think he hit a few stretch goals today. But, uh, check it out. He's doing an album? I didn't know he played saxophone, but I guess he plays a bunch of different saxophones. And there's 69 hours left to go, so that's tight. But anyway, um, yeah, you, uh, you can, um, support the thing. I guess he's making like a whole saxophone jazz album. It's pretty cool. And he asked me if I would promote it on stream. And I said, sure, because Joe's a good friend of mine. And he asked what he could do for me. And I said, nothing. Because I just don't mind helping my friend out. Um, yeah, so if that's something you want to support, go for it. I just told him I would tell people about it. So please check it out if you want. Or else. Just kidding. Yeah, he's, uh, he's Claude, isn't he? Uh, I don't know much about Three Houses. I didn't, I didn't play Fire Emblem Harry Potter or whatever the fuck. So this is where they're holding the prelims this year. It's huge! And we get to dance here. Awesome! Boy, they really do it up for nationals, don't they? We're close to the finals. I don't even know what to say. Don't worry, we're gonna blow them away. And you've got something else you can use to occupy our mind with. Don't you, Captain? You can't think about that right now. We're not supposed to compete in a national meet. We're really about to compete in a national meet. On the same day, Yurie Norizuki is supposed to get attacked. I have to find out who Dancing Bunny is before that happens. I think it's like her second in command, her like lieutenant or whatever. All right, we're about to keep it real, y'all. My nerves are starting to get worse. You're going to be fine. You all are. From what I've seen so far, you need to go up there and nail it. You're headed to the finals. The moment the music starts, whatever's on your mind just disappears. All that's left is the routine. All right, rabbits. Huddle up. All right, everybody. Everybody get in. Everybody get in. Everybody huddle up. That means you. Come on.
Hands in, y'all. Spirit fingers. Oh, shit. Hey, 80 combo too. That's pretty good. Hey, not bad. Yosha. Yosha. Oh, he's so happy. Look how happy Yagami is. We're down for a final winner of this year's National High School Dance Jam. Which team is moving on to the finals? Who will be competing in the top dance club of the country? Here we go. The last team to move on to the finals is... What if it's not us? The Sadio Rabbits! Oh, we did it! We're in Nationals! We made it to Nationals, y'all! We really did it. Come on, Sayaka. We're in the finals. Yeah, we made it to the Nationals. Dot, 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 dot. Let's go teamwork! Nina. Good job, everybody. You all put in so much hard work into this, you really killed it up there. Still, I can't believe it. We're actually gonna compete for national champs. Okay, I'm calling it now. Hiragi is already going out with the other girl. Sega-chan. That was amazing, Saika chan I couldn't take my ass off you the whole time. <laughs> Senpai, you're here. Of course, I promised, remember? Oh. Well, yeah, I remember. Are you free now? I have reservations at a swinky cafe. Whoa, maybe not. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe Hiragi actually does want to hang out with Sayaka. Can't wait. Let me say bye real quick. Bye, guys. See you at practice. Ooh. <laughs> want to know something, Yagami-san? I convinced Sayaka to tell Hiragi if I how she really feels about him. Eh? You did? What about her deal with? What about her deal with Norizuki? Eh? What about what now? Oh. oh damn, you weren't here for that, Micah. You didn't know Norizuki cut a deal with Saika. Whoever wins Dance Jam gets to confess her love for Hiragi uh -huh. Senpai. What? Is that for real? Uh, so does that mean I shouldn't have done the thing I did? Uh -huh. Well, I guess there's no stopping true love. But I mean, it's whatever. Who knows how Hiragi -san -sen feels? Sahagi Senpai feels. We've got to let things run their course. Uh -huh. I hope everything pans out all right. What if Hiragi is the professor? Hey, where's Noshizono? I guess she didn't come to school today. Uh-oh. Huh. That's odd. I wonder what happened. No clue. She even had perfect attendance until now. I've been trying to reach her to see what's up, but nothing so far. That's kind of concerning. Uh... Maybe something happened with Hiragi-senpai. They went out after prelims, didn't they? <laughs> maybe, maybe they went too well with Hiragi-senpai, and now she doesn't care about the rabbits anymore. Oh, no, not her. <laughs> Who knows? Especially with good girls like Sayaka is, anything can happen when they get all lovey-dovey. Whoa! <laughs> What if she's still with Hiragi-senpai, sharing a room somewhere? Yeah! Ah! Cut it out already. I am concerned about her, though. It's not like to her to leave the club hanging, just let alone when we're this close to a meet. Mm. Just have to wait and see if she comes into practice. I guess so. Okay, so there's probably something... Is something locked? Level 5 
or more main story. Okay, condition appeal level five. Okay, we're not gonna get anything for a while then in that case. Time to be crime dad. Well, what I really want is I, I want to get into the robotics club or the boxing club. Can I do boxing, maybe? Oh, I was supposed to ask somebody about the Genbukai, I think. About the Budokai. Tenkaichi Budokai. It says there's a quest there. Come on. Wait, I don't remember what the fucking uh, tasks. Ask Todoroki about the Genbukai. That's what I was supposed to do. Oh, Sadio High Robotics Club. Fuck yeah. Wait, I gotta talk to Amasawa. Uh, Amasawa. This is the one that I actually really wanted to play. Knock, knock. Oh, Itokura, you're here too. So how's the MRC treat you? I'm tired of it. Tired of it? So soon? I mean, I read every single book in the club room. There's nothing else to do. You did? Already? She's quite a fast reader. Ridiculously fast. Oh man, did anybody see that video of the world's fastest reader? Hold on, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I, I gotta find it. Wait a minute. It's so funny. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. There's, there's no way, there's no way. I refuse to believe that this is real. Oh, I can't find the whole thing. Anyway. Anyway, it's, I, I can't, I, I mean, there's no, how could you possibly tell? All speed reading is bunk. Yeah, because like, He's just like flipping the pages around. Like he's not even like turning them in an order. He's just like like that. Uh, Never knew you had it in you. Amasa. Hey, I'm a Sawa senpai. If there aren't any mysteries and the MRC has nothing to do, then what's the point of coming to school? Then I'll go buy some new books. Club already low on funds this month too. Amasa. So anyway, Amasa, you want to talk about something, right? Is it related to the hey. professor? I want to discuss another possible criminal investigation. Like you go and cover again. This time it's in the robotics club. A uh, robotics club should be interesting. Uh, I didn't know they had a robotics club. A few years back, a handful of students established a club based on one of their own commonest interests, robots. They participated in robotics so competitions. Whole uh, thing where they use robotics to compete in soccer and other games like Tamarie? Tamarie? Tamair? Tamaire? I don't know what that is. That's right, many different groups host them each year during their own variation uh, of the rules. Sedi Oto Robotics Club participates in a business-sponsored tournament called the RE Robo Rally. Huge events that invites technical college students, robotics clubs, and even teams of working adults to compete for a large cash prize. Mm. Some average high school club signed up for a tournament like that? Sounds like an uphill battle. Uh. Quite so. It's an uphill battle every year, I'm afraid. I hear they always lose in the prelims. Uh, high school robotics tip clubs typically have limited funding, not to mention they lack the proficiency 
that a college age group would have. Despite their shortcomings, uh, made a huge leap forward, one particular transfer student came the club's president. A second year named Domu ok Okitagawa. On second trimester, o Okitagawa kun transferred from a high school in another prefecture. He wanted a member of his previous school's robotics club as well. Before he transferred, he can still receive top marks in robotic competitions. With him in the ranks, the robotics club streak of preliminary losses changed drastically. Okitagawa kun's management and production abilities rival that of seasoned adults. The one feeble robotics club was practically transformed under his I'm leadership. Not transformed. Uh, just as one example, the club had typically struggled with funding, but he waltzed in and secured a sponsorship from a shopping district. He even drafted schedules for the club, which were immaculate, and the club quickly saw an increase in efficiency and productivity in their work. So what's yeah. the problem? A high school student did all that? That is impressive. Oh, uh, here it is. Are you familiar with the string of robot-led thefts? Citizens of Ijin show are will be out and about, then suddenly a robot will appear and snatch goods like expensive bags off them, then it runs off. Yeah. Great, this is the first I'm hearing of that one. Are robots really that sophisticated? Eh. Absolutely. With all with its mechanical arm, it can firmly grasp onto things like bags and make a quick escape. We're living in a simulation. On top of that, it's highly maneuverable. It can fit into openings too narrow for a human to follow. Mm. Sounds like even more trouble than a flesh and blood thief. Most targeted items are expensive bags that contain large amounts of cash. Some bags are worth over a million yen. We're talking damages that have now surpassed several million yen. You're claiming the robotics behind these from City or Robotics Club. You have proof? As a matter of fact, I discovered a bolt along one of the robot's escape routes. Very same bolts the City of High Robotics Club. Wait, what? Hold on now. No. Nah. You're positive the City of Robotics Club is using these bolts. Hi. Yes, 100%. They were originally custom made by a factory in Eugene Show, but they went under and lost its client. That's when the Sadio Ohio Robotics Club bought them in bulk for a low price. Makes sense. I can see why you'd suspect them. Additionally, rumor has the stolen goods are being used as a source of funding for criminals. Nah, nah. Well, it would be tough to fend stolen goods through usual channels. Eh. Right. And I have just the ones in mind who would perform the various deeds. The professor in the Neo Kahan We're the MRC. We can't sit by and ignore this, can we? Onegaishimasu. Oh. <laughs> An outside counselor. One step ahead as always. Though I have to say I'm surprised the chairman gave a thumbs up. To be honest, the adv the advisor and the robotics club have never been on good terms, and the chairman is glad to have a mediator to keep an eye on them. Uh, as for why they're at odds with each other, I have no idea. Interesting. Uh, because of the dispute with their advisor, apparently the robotics club members have a general distrust of adults. They may reject me. Mm. Like it's going to be tricky. All right, here we go. Mamale, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. So this is really funny because um, I don't think it's technically been one more day yet since we did all the previous stuff. So I've been doing all this side shit like constantly over the day. Thank you, Mimale. I appreciate that. Damn, PM Malou on his last legs here. So this is the robotics club. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Yagami. I was asked to start as your outside counselor today. Is the president here? Uh-oh. そうか。それじゃあ話が早い。これからよろしくな。A warm welcome, I see. ヤガミさんでしたっけ一つお聞きしたいことがある。ロボットに関しての知識はいや、特にないけど。またこれだよ。またこれだよ。ヤガミさん、理事長に頼まれたのでしょうが。我々としては外部指導員など必要としていませんえ我々は我々だけでうまくやっていますのでえ部活に来ていただくのですかあ、起きてがわくんだっけ一応俺も仕事で来てるから必要ないって言われても困っちゃうんだよね邪魔はしない
まあ邪魔をしないのならそれじゃ改めてよろしく。We'll all be friends in no time! Right, best of friends. Here goes nothing. Better greet all the members. Let me play with robots! I was asked to act as your outside counselor starting today. It's nice to meet you. He totally ignored me. Excuse me, what's your name? Shion Takamori. I'm in charge of construction. And what would your construction entail? Following the blueprints and building the robots. So you build them. Sounds fun. What kind of robot are you making now? I'm a little busy right now, you mind? My bad. Sorry for bugging you. I need to get back to work. What's your deal, man? Oh. Hello. Yagami. My name's Yagami. I'm an advisor to the Mystery Research Club. What's your name? Tetsuro Ooh. Tetsuro Kurumazaki. Nah. Can you ask what you're making? Uh, Blueprints. I'm oh, so he designs them. The guy next to him builds them. Yeah. Could he be super shy? Okay, so he's... So he designs... Why is there a fucking anime girl poster in here? What is this? Tane Moka. Tane Moka. Who is that? Is that a reference to something? What is that? I'm trying to look for like references around the room or something. Isn't it moving? Hey there. Uh, ah, I'm Yagami. Nice to meet you. Who might you be? Well, Dento Sakura. Ah, the programmer. So he programs everything. Where It's the robot. I can't get it to move. What do I do? I need another tongue lashing from the... I don't need another tongue lashing from the president. Well, to be honest, I just recently started programming, except I don't have a proper senpai to teach me the ropes. I wish I could help you out with that. I'm not much of a programmer myself. But I do know someone who is... No. What are you up to? I'm laying out our current milestones and workflow progression using Agile. Mm -hmm. Like your agility? No, Agile. It's a cutting edge project development so method that's being adopted by all sorts of software oh. designers. Oh. Try and rephrase it in a more digestible way. Instead of blindly trying to complete a model, it repeats trials, tests, and modifications to achieve the ideal form. Compared to the waterfall model of the past, you can have a much shorter development yeah. cycle. Wow, sounds complicated. <laughs> Well, you're not wrong. High school students have difficult time wrapping their heads around development models of this level. It does require mastery and management, after all. Depending on our opponents for this, depending on our opponents for this tournament, we'll have more flexible spec changes. So that's why we're using this model. In fact, we're running a scrimmage with our prototype models later today. We'll examine the results to adjust our design principles for the future. I'm sorry, Joe. I know this must be very shop talky for you. He had a really standoffish vibe at first, but he's surprisingly friendly. You made a promise, right? Didn't you say you wouldn't get in our way? Uh... I take it back. Damn, man. What the fuck? Bitch. <clears throat> it's time. Uh, what? Oh. Something going on? The scrimmage. That's right, you mentioned earlier. You gather data from these practice matches and make adjustments as necessary. No. Correct! Uh. If I watch, fine, just as long as you don't get in our way. <laughs> I get the sense they don't like me very much. But they will! Whoa, what the? This dedicated field is where the matches of the Ari Robo Rally are held. <sighs> Dang, looks professional. What the fuck is this? I'm Matsunaga from West Mitsuha High. Looking forward to the match today. I'm Okitagawa of Serio. Pleasure. Moshi moshi. Mazukayo. Are you kidding? Takamori. What's the matter, Takamori? Oi, oi. Mizuzaki won't be coming. What? What do you mean by that? He jammed his finger during track Mazina. practice. I told him to focus his attention on the robotics club before the tournament. Nah. What's wrong? The fellow on the track team who asked to control the robot as our guest operator. So he jammed his finger and can't do it anymore? Can anyone in the else hmm. club operate it? Well, I mean... <laughs> what? Me? No way, I suck! <laughs> I'm famous for my butterfingers. The robots are radio controlled, so they're a bit unconventional. Mizuzaki isn't part of the club, but he had the experience, so I asked for his help. I see. How about I do it? No, not Takamori. Huh? What? Why the hell not? That's your reason right there. You have a very short fuse. We can't afford you getting emotional in the middle of the match. That's not gonna happen. Radio controlled, huh? No. In that case, mind if I be the operator? 
What? You, Yagami-san? I actually use a drone for my work pretty often. I know my way around radio controls. You've operated drones? How much experience do you have? About five years worth? I'd like to think I can handle more delicate situations like oi, this, too. Oi. Forget it. What are you even saying? But we have to win. Okay, Takawa, you son of a... This is the best course of action we can take for today. It's the optimal solution. No, 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 no. Why is this even an option? He isn't even in the club. It should be me. Like I said, process of elimination. So, like, this guy's a teacher, right? He's our advisor. From its adult participation as well. The team shouldn't be an issue. Buttercup? Hold on one second. I gotta check on Bubs. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna let uh, Bubs out real fast. Okay, I'm back. Okay, sorry. <sighs> All right, I'm back. Are we good? Shouldn't be an issue. So I'm competing. I'm driving the robot instead of. Yeah. Yes, of course. Give us about five minutes. Well, fine, I guess. You'll be divided into blue and red teams uh, and battle each other in a territory control game using three robots. On a battlefield com composed of multiple panels, you'll take the position blocks and expand your own team's territory. You have more territory than the opponent by the end of the game. You take over the enemy team's base. The base is your initial position at the start of a match to the point where the robot returns when it's destroyed. Robots are destroyed, will be forced to return to their team's base, and temporarily cannot return to the match. Due to recent technological advancements, you can control every function using your smartphone. Oh wow, it's like a drone. I can work with this. In a match, other than the leading unit, you'll directly control... Is this a tactics game? Blocks will spawn at set locations in the battlefield. First move the robot over the block's location. Only the leader may place blocks. So it's like Tetris. This might be difficult to convey through words. Could you give it a try? Okay. Okay. So placing blocks, leaving a few gaps as possible. Place a block that's adjacent to your team's base or your own territory. If that block is an enemy territory, you can steal that. Real match focus is all about territory, so technique is often the same factor. These treacherous tug of war matches are not limited to territory battles alone. Unleash attacks upon the enemy. Or about your controlling is a drill equipped. Try to attack the enemy by ramming into it. Destroyed robots are automatically returned to their bases. Keep guarding until the match is over. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, Yagami-san. Oh. Just leave it to me. Yeah, Yosh. Yeah, I want to see, like... Give me that block. Give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, so we destroyed one. Okay, so my understanding is... Oh, right, it's got to be placed adjacent. I forgot. Yes. Yes. Uh, so you you kind of want to do it like like this. Fuck him up. There we go. Okay, ooh, that's interesting. So if you kill them, then you get the block that they were carrying, I guess? Did I do it this way? Ow, ow, ow. What the hell is this? Oh, you can steal. Okay, so that's how you steal for sure. Yeah. More. Okay, this is cool. I like this. This is definitely very different from what I thought it was going to be. Like, very, very different from what I thought it was going to be. Oh, moving on enemy territory is bad. That's what's happening. So if you move on enemy territory, you actually slow down. Move out of the way, you dumb idiot. Okay, so this is interesting. So, like... Oh, this is kind of cool. Wait, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, I could have taken over their base, I think. It's fine. We won anyway. Why is your team named Deus Ex Machina? I don't know. That's just the default names. Yes. Yo, for oh, real? Oh, oh, hey, did you actually win? Wow, on your first try, too. No. So what do you think? Not too shabby, huh? Certainly far from shabby. You may even better th be better than Mizuzaki. Yeah, did I make a Hall of Fame? Okitagawa, do not tell me you're going to use this guy in the Takamori. tournament. Takamori. There's only one option we have. Then what happens to Mizuzaki? So we'll have to have him huh? step down. He was quite temperamental. Maybe even a little unstable. Oh, oh, oh. No, damn it. Even so... You ever heard of something called the pecking order? Why give the job to an outsider who just showed up today? It was the optimal solution. Huh? huh? Okitagawa. Okitagawa, if you ever, if you're gonna ax that Mizuzaki kid just for me, it feels like it's Hey, hey Luca dear, thank you so much for the raid, I appreciate that. Thank you. To be honest, he was acting as our operator reluctantly. It seemed he had his heart set on the track and field club. Is that so? That's right. He always wanted to be out of the robotics club. That's why, frankly, I didn't want him to be the operator for the tournament. That's the case. I guess it's no big deal. Moving on, you guys. On. I'd like to thank you uh, in advance. Yeah, no problem. I'm not talking to you. I suppose I could say thank. I successfully infiltrated the robotics club. But making friends with everyone—that's another story. I need to earn the trust somehow. I should report back to Amasawa. She was worried the robotics club wouldn't even take me in. Hmm. Uh, greetings, everybody. Welcome. We're playing uh this game. The Lost Judgment, that's what it's called. I almost forgot the name of the game I was playing.
gotta go this way. What happened that made me hate hardcore? Uh, I lost my fourth character who was level 65. So I was not happy about that. And he had a bunch of good gear on him, and now he's dead forever. How much does Judgment tie into Yakuza? There are some locations that are shared uh, between the two games. Oh, uh, Hardcore Diablo 2. It was the character I was playing yesterday. Yeah, I got him to, like, level 65, I think, and then he just fucking died. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. And it sucks, too, because I don't really even like hardcore that much. Nah. But all the people I'm playing Diablo 2 with are like, oh, we're only doing hardcore. I'm like, okay. I guess there's no other option, then. Uh? You ever hear of Genbukai? Nani? You dick, where'd you pick that up? I heard a rumor Oshikiri used to compete in it, and you tore him a new one over it. And what if nah. I did? Why is he so obsessed with getting stronger? One time I spotted him outside the gym. He seemed awfully spooked by no. something. What is it? Who is it that's after Oshikiri? Yogami. Yogami, you fuck! Maderu. Told you to stop snooping around! Guess I should back off. I would like to practice versus new opponents. So it feels like this does work. <laughs> That's so funny. I literally am like in awe that that works. Tatsugeki! Tatsugeki! Guy's down. No way he's getting up. Oh, maybe he. Nope, he's down. That is, in my opinion. Wait, I'm gonna fight him again and get more power. Yeah, this mini game is actually super fun. Uh, what's been the best minigame so far? I really like this one. <laughs> but it's funny because how exploitable it is. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, did it stop working? Did the tech stop working? Nope. No, it still works. Good to know. You 
Yagami Far Slash. Yeah, it's the we call it Yagami Fair Slash. This guy's getting up for sure. I think this guy's getting up. No, no way. Yeah, nah, he's done. You're done, kid. I have no idea what Guts does, but whatever. We'll figure it out. This is Yagami's DLC fighting style. It's not boxing style, it's monkey style. No, this increases my stats in boxing only, I think. Ooh. This guy's got hands. Ooh! The tech. Yeah, this guy's getting up for sure. This is so this is so funny that this works. Treat Kurt oh. So this guy gives stamina. Oh, you must be the Yagami san everybody's been talking about. Who's this guy? Zeven to Tanoshi Sony Spasurundane. Anta, whatever Moto Jimuse no Sakuma Chizuru. Is that hair? Actually, those dreads look really good. Like, rendering wise. Australia. Ah, Sabisani Cotinic says that a Kenya Kuni Kenko Tao Moshiro is changing. I don't know your name, Ransa Chizuru. Toyo Taiheo Kuruzaki Juni.向こうじゃ随分と活躍してるそうじゃねえか。東洋太平洋のランカーなのか。ランカーって言っても、ベルトにはまだまだ届かない。俺の身長だと、クルザキは原料が大変だね。デビュー級に移らねえのか。あそこ
この裏切り者が二度とうちの敷居をまたぐなと言ったはずだ裏切り者ですって相変わらず古臭いこと言ってますねそんなんじゃまたジムの子が愛想っさっくまって言ったよなあんた強いんだよな俺とスパーシュー<笑>でも階級が全然違うよねでも俺はクルーザー級だ体重の軽い男は Wait, is cruiserweight above middleweight? ボクシングの常識下手したら死んじゃうよ心配は無用だ I don't remember, hold on 路上じゃあんたみたいにでかいやつともやり合ってきたからなそれもグローブもなし狂気も金敵も何でもありの喧嘩でだボクシング Hold on, hold on Minimum weight, fly weight, super fly weight, bantam weight, super bantam weight, feather weight, super feather weight, light weight, super light weight, welter weight, middle weight. Oh wow. Oh, cruiser weight is just below heavy weight. Holy shit. And he said we're what? Middle weight? Wow. Whoa, cruiser weight's just below heavy weight. That's crazy. <laughs> ヤガミはまた押し切りとやり合うつもりらしいぜまたケンヤ君とボコボコにやられたって聞いたけど hey, hey, I didn't get destroyed I went the full rounds まったく根性だへえそれは関心だいいよそういうことヤガミこの裏切り者とやり合うつもりなら俺に声を Thanks トロロキ Uh, I'm gonna spar this guy. I think this was the. This is the guy that gave me more power, I think. I think this guy gave me 50 power every time I fought him. Yeah, 2 2 gave you power, yeah. I wanna level up my power a bit so I hit harder. Yosh. Oh, you can press circle to skip it. Nice. Okay. That'll save time. Oh, you only get a little bit the next time you fight him. I see, I see. So you get a big bonus the first time you do it, but the next time you do it, you get less. Which is fine. Because watch. So we'll just grind out the extra power here. Just give this man several concussions for XP. He came to a boxing gym. He knew what he signed up for. Oh, 
Oh, he's up. Oh, he's mad now. Oh, he's fucking done so. I mean, we could do a third one if you want. All right, let's fucking go. Ooh, who's this? Lanza. Maybe because he's got like really big reach. That could be it. Oh god, he's like way taller. Oh my god. I can't believe, well, I get why this works, but it's still kind of funny that it does. Is it legal to step behind them and punch them in the back of the head? That's a good question. I don't know enough about boxing to answer that. Probably. Probably? You shouldn't really ever turn your back to your opponent. That's illegal? Listen, anything goes in boxing. If it goes in boxing, pulls out katana. Ooh, that ragdoll was not liking that. Uh oh. Nah, you're done, kid. Come back in 10 years. Whoa, I got 100 and everything. You're not bad. I should have sucked him about Oshikiri later. Or maybe I'll fight him again. Yagami-san! I heard you earlier, trying to score a match with Kenya kun uh, That's right. So See, if we're talking about maybe Kenya kun will finally get to square up with a worthy nah. opponent. Maybe. Is Oshikiri really that strong? He's wicked strong. Honestly, it kind of scares me. Really? You too? I've heard similar nah. before. Hey, Yagami-san, why don't we continue this conversation uh. somewhere else? Sounds great. I was hoping to ask you more about him. There's a bar in the entertainment district called Rodriguez. Let's meet there. See you later. We're breaking the law. Breaking the world. Uh, hold square after left jab. A quick triple jab that leaves no openings for counter. Ooh. 
sounds cool. I want that. Ooh. Your own health is low. EX gauge is full. Press triangle just as the enemy attacks and when the conditions are met. EX cross counter? That's cool. But it's 100,000 yen and also... Uh, your health has to be super low. Oh, that reminds me. Probably got a bunch of stuff I can learn, too. Yeah, I've got, what, 40,000? I'll get the, uh, one of those... Snake. Snake! Cross counter. Brought him into the bushes. I'm gonna assume that that's happening. <laughs> Nobody will find the body. Okay, I think they want me to go up here. Right. Right. What's up, man? Hey, you wait for me? Nope, not in the least. I haven't been back in Japan in a while. I was just enjoying the solitude. Is that so? Might as well ask him whatever I can. Uh, this is the Jincho, yeah. Nah. What brought Oshikiri to Todoroki's gym? Coach recruited him. Saw Kenny Kun fighting off some thugs in an alley. He's got a real eye for talent. When he saw that kid, he knew right away he was looking at a top tier boxer. So what happened? Kenny Kun was super eager to train. So coach started working with him one-on-one -on -one after he joined. I'm telling you, I haven't seen a faster learner. He'd pick up advanced techniques in no time flat. But that day he got in the ring with Mikimoto-kun, that's when everything changed. When the triple crown champ and top boxer in Japan got destroyed by a high school nobody, yep, even the scariest pro would get the willies after witnessing that match, Todoroki basically said the same thing. In fact, he used the word monster. Yeah, it's accurate. He just loses total control in the ring, like he turns into a combat machine. Coach says someone probably trained him to be that way. You mean someone intentionally got Oshikiri to the point he's at now? <sighs> yeah, no idea though. Who though? Uh, I think Coach's main goal is to save Kenny Kun through the joy of boxing. Mm. He's severe with his boxers. Has he always been like that? <laughs> yeah, he's always been tearing our heads off. Never had a problem getting physical with us either. He's especially bad when we lose a match, calling us names, screaming at us to quit. I definitely know what you mean. But it's probably just tough love. But a lot of folks end up discouraged because of it too. Know what I mean? Case in point, that's exactly what happened yeah. to me. Uh. Damn, even you? This was back when I was tried for the National Cruiserweight title. I did awful. Full-on yeah, KO. Yeah, yeah. Boy, did he ever chew me out for that. Get out already, you fucking coward. He even threw gym resignation form in my face. Uh. That's messed up. <laughs> he does it pretty often, though, you know? Especially when somebody has high hopes for loses. Must be pretty damn invested in you then. So, they did a test on this in some military. I can't remember what country did it, but... It turns out that this negative reinforcement, it doesn't really work. It... It actually doesn't work. Like, it it really does not help. Positive reinforcement helps so much more. It it really just makes you feel bad. It, it really does not motivate you that much. I can't remember what study it was, but they, they did like a study on this kind of negative reinforcement, and it doesn't, it doesn't really work. <sighs> I suppose I was invested in him too back then, but that was when it felt like he crossed the line. That's why I ended up moving overseas. Definitely had a new gym after that. That was six months ago. Nah. Mm. You tell me about Mikimoto. He had such, so much promise. Another true genius in the ring. Pick up new moves right away, and the rest of us were busting our asses to barely come close to his form. 
He hated training. Always saw it as a hassle. Even still, he was a triple crown champ. Incredible. なるほど. Sounds like he used to be the star of the gym. Mm -hmm. Coach thought Mikimoto-kun might be another OBF, OPBF champ one day. In fact, he even thought Mikimoto-kun could go to Worlds, something he even he could do. But then he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster. Yep, real shame it played out how it did. Tell you the truth, Mikimoto-kun and I used to be pretty close. I did my best to be a good senpai for him. We'd spar all the time, even go out on the road work together every day. That's why I couldn't believe he just dropped the gym and go back to the streets. Such a scummy job, worm collecting. Well, thanks, Sakuma. Much better understanding of the situation now. You're digging around for that payback box, aren't you? Yeah, I we're cool. Do what you want. Only good new it's only good news for the gym if it keeps people from side eyeing us. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I appreciate that. You set the sailing time soon? Gonna be here for a good while. Uh, no idea. Since I'll be around, I can give you a hand or two when you need a sparring partner. Nice. Okay, so we can spar with him anytime we want. And he gives good stats, it looks like. So that's kind of nice. Ooh, this is new. Oh, that is new. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's pretty cool. What's it called in hockey? A hat trick? Shouldn't you, you're Canadian, shouldn't you know that, Joe? Thank you not for the 15 months. I appreciate you're that. Awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Smile. Uh, okay, so boxing gym. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, check the school diary for details. Okay, so that's fine. We can do this. You love the tier 3 alert? Thanks, I made it myself. Check abilities, that's right. Submarine straight. That's pretty good. This is a pretty small gym. Yeah, I mean, what's? it's just the boxing ring and then some, like, weights around. And then the desk.
The mix, the schmix is too strong. Wow, he gives a lot of power. He gives 50 power each time. That's pretty good. You know, I can't believe I'm about to say this. But... Maybe it's time to continue the main story. No, this wasn't made. This is all I've been doing side stuff for like the past two, like stream and a half. That's a good uh, death sound. Get up. Get up. No. No. Fight me. Fuck it, that's such a cool ability. Get out! Now! I don't have time to beat you up. Something's happening over here. Time to continue the fucking main storyline. I actually don't know what chapter we're on. We're probably at the end of this one. Chapter 3.
How old is the protagonist? I think he's like 36 or something. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really remember. Right, they found that photo. そう、<笑> ナミの探偵なら4年前に江原敏郎が自殺した時彼女連中Okay, this is definitely new chapter. Previously on Lost Judgment. そこ Red knife. え、本当に思ったもんで。はい、清涼高校でございます。うおう。はい。ああ、はい。確かに猫芝君はこちらで教育実習をしていたんですが。すみません。え、保護者の皆様にあたる。Oh, <笑> あ、はい。伊勢崎人町で男性の他殺隊が見つかった事件で、神奈川県警は遺体の身元を同志の大学生、三越博さんと発表しました。遺体は死後2ヶ月ほど経過しており、死因は刃物による失血死。うん。で、
まずは沢先生の様子が気になるいろいろ抱えてるみてえだなあんな綺麗な先生が沢先生ははじめ江原敏郎の自殺について三越芝のいじめはなかったと俺に言ってたんだ It's never that cut and dry, though. 4年前はそのことを三越芝本人に詰め寄ってたらしい多分いじめは実際にあったんじゃないかな少なくとも沢先生はそう考えてたんだと思う、oh, shit. Hold on. I'm so sorry, guys. One sec. Can you give me like one second? There's something I forgot to do、uh, before it gets too late. I'll, I'll be right back. I totally slipped my mind. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm back. I had to start some laundry and I forgot to feed、uh, Benny. So, I had to go feed 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 Benny. 逆にもっと広めてって感じじゃない一理ありますなうんそれもそうだがよそもそも沢先生はなんで自分の意見を真逆に変えちまったんだ普通に考えれば上から圧力があったというところでしょうなあまりいじめの事実を騒ぎ立ててくれるなと例えば星稜高校の奥田理事長からどうだろうあの理事長にそんな力あるかな結構沢先生にもズケズケ物を言われやっぱりその辺はでも八神さんもう近づかないでって言われたんでしょそんな聞き分けよくちゃ探偵なんてできないよ<笑>そっか何か僕に手伝えることあるあああるぜお前は俺の解放しなきゃだろうそうなのそうなのどの道今あの学校に出入りできんのは俺だけだから杉浦は海藤さん頼むよオッケー Hey chat I have a very strange request I know I don't usually do this Um, but would you mind if I changed games? I'm not not enjoying this. I'm I'm enjoying this a lot. I just, I really do want to try and catch up a little bit in Diablo 2. Because I'm I'm now going to be like way, way behind. I know, I got the Diablo, but. Well, it's mostly because. It's mostly because I'm I'm mad that. I'm mad I lost all that time. Why would you mind? I don't know. Maybe some people were here to watch this. Yeah, I do want to finish more of this game. Like, for sure. Like, I'm enjoying the fuck out of this game. It's, it's really, really good. I say you should play what you want to play. Trust me when I say I agree. Um, it's just some people. I don't know. Never mind. I don't know. Maybe I just shouldn't think about it too much. Okay, hold on. <laughs> 